Good morning. The markets may have tumbled, but it was not as bad as it appeared. The market breadth did not collapse and the decline came on a lower volume. Also, the outflow from the foreign funds were only marginal in the cash segment. Given the backdrop, we expect the market to resume its ascent today after a slow start. Most of the Asian markets bearing Hong Kong are trading in the green. The markets in Hong Kong were shut yesterday. Australian shares are up, led by gains in resource stocks after the announcement of a compromise tax deal between the miners and the government. US stocks managed to pair their losses despite a trio of weak economic reports. All eyes will be now on Friday's payroll data. The analysts are forecasting a drop of over 100,000 in June after strong May addition, though some of this is census-related. The Nifty may cross 5,300 again, but it has to sustain above 5,350 for a meaningfully long period if we have to see 5,400 and 5,500 in the short term. On the way down, the Nifty has good support at around 5,200 and 5,100. Chances of it cracking below 5,000 appear slim right now, and this may happen if the world equity markets collapse again. FIF flows are critical in India. In May, when they pulled out $2 billion from the market, the market fell 3.5%. In June, the market gained 4.5% as foreign funds pumped in $2 billion. The global picture is rather grim with fears of growth slowdown looming large in key economies like the US, Europe and the China. Also, the sovereign debt crisis in the Eurozone is yet to be resolved. The FIIs were net sellers of Rs 1.6 billion in the cash segment on Thursday, provisionally according to figures published on the NSE website. The local funds were net sellers of just Rs 67 million. In the FNO segment, they were net sellers of Rs 12.13 billion. The ONGC board has in principle approved the cluster development of four marginal fields in the western offshore. Arcom today announced acquisition of one of India's largest cable service providers, DigiCable, in a cashless all-stock deal. Sterlite Energy, the flagship company of Vedanta Resources, has ignited the first unit of its 2400 megawatt power plant at Jarsuguda. The Blackstone Group has secured 12.5% stake for the 2.8 billion in Monet Power, a 100% subsidy of Monet Ispat and Energy. Food inflation declined by a significant 4% to 12.9% for the week ended 19th of June due to a high base effect and timely arrival of the monsoon rains. The FDR and DTH raised to 74% and FM radio to 26%. Department of Industrial Policy and Promotion has initiated an exercise to tweak the foreign direct investment policy for wholesale trading. SEBI has made it tougher for non-finance businesses, which has less than five years of financial service experience, not permitting it to own stake in N asset management company. May export surges to 16.1 billion US dollars, up 35.1% YOY. Maharashtra government is considering imposition of betterment charges and service tax on developers of residential and commercial complexes adjacent to the mega infrastructure projects lined up in Mumbai. The center's fiscal deficit stood at 1 lakh crore rupees during April-May 2010, constituting over a fourth of the budget estimate for the entire year. Fund raised by Corporate India through syndicated loans and equity insurances have more than tripled to about 578 billion rupees for the half year ended June 2010. Moving on to the recommendations, the technical calls are a buy on emphasis. We recommend a buy above levels of rupees 585 for a target price of rupees 603, and it is advisable to maintain a stop loss at rupees 574. And a buy on Divis Laboratories. We advise buying the stock above Rs. 786 with a stop loss at Rs. 773 for a target of Rs. 814. The derivative strategies are Long Novelli Lignite July Future in the range of Rs. 162 to Rs. 163 for a target price of Rs. 170 and a stop loss is to be placed at Rs. 158. And Long NTPC July Future in the range of Rs. 200 to 201 for a target price of Rs. 210 and the stop loss is to be placed at Rs. 195. Thank you and have a great day ahead.